Back in the building, back for another more small moment. We're glad you guys could make it. I think by this time, like by the time you're watching this, we would have hit a million views um, across, our, across, across, all of our, across all of our videos. That is, we've already hit it. So I'm just gonna say thank you. Like that's, yeah. I mean, a million times our videos in total have been watched. That's that's insane. That is really Crazy. good. I mean, look. For what we're doing here and for the small community we've been building, I think that's just immense. We really appreciate, like I said, we appreciate every single it's view, crazy. every comment, every single interaction, every subscription. Thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah. yeah, no, really, really appreciate it. I mean, when I'm we sorry. first started this, we didn't think it was going to get to where it's got to. Um, but now we have even lo larger, loftier goals for this channel. So keep watching. But yeah, thank you for all of your support, guys. Each and every watch has helped us spread the information that needs to get out there. So yeah, yeah really appreciate that. Cool. With that being said, I'm excited. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great video. I hope you guys are ready. I've got the question ready. It's, it's all lined up on my phone. Talk about pressure. And I'm going to get in there because I'm going to ask a question. Senna's going to answer it. Pressure. You guys are going to digest it. You're either going to chew it up and spit it back out and say, nah, that's rubbish, or you're going to, you're going to take it in. Let us know in the comments. Let us know because it is what it is. This, this is how we do things. But either way, I can't explain my why I'm why I'm excited right now. I don't know, but I'm just very excited today. I'm bubbly. I can't even sit straight. I can't even sit still in my seat. But I'm going to read the question, and then I'm going to be quiet because I've taken up too much of your time already. Hi guys. First of all, I would like to say how much I enjoy watching your videos. Thank you. My fiance thinks I'm obsessed with you guys because she always recognizes your intro music. <laughs> I love that. I love it. The intro, the intro music is quite good. Shout out to Big Cakes. That's actually really good. I would love to get a suit made by you guys, but unfortunately I can't because I'm from Australia. There's the ways. There's ways. You can still get a suit made in Australia. Yeah. We can still do it. We could still do it. We'll find a we you can still do it, come on. It just means you can't it just means you can't have a Me, conversation us. in person with us unless you fly here or we fly there. I mean that's the only that's the only if he wants to fly us there, we can do that. Well, it can be done. It can be done either way, that's all I'm saying. Okay, cool, look. My question is, how do you stop those nasty neck stains from showing on your white shirt collars? And if my white shirt collars are already stained and I've tried washing and dry cleaning it, do you ha do you know what? The tone of my voice, the, the pitch of the way I was reading it was so off that you probably wouldn't even understand what I was asking. So I'm going to read that question one more time. What? You're my right question there. is, how do you stop those nasty stains from, your sh from showing on your white shirt collars? Question one. And if my shirt collars are already stained and I've tried washing and dry cleaning it, do you have any tips on how to get them out? P.S. I definitely scrub the back of my neck in the shower so it's not a hygiene thing. Over to you. Cool. Um, interestingly enough, his last point would have been the very first thing that I would have suggested. So he's making the right moves there. Okay, he's clean. Um, he's clean. Yeah. So unfortunately, when it comes to the 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 stains on collars, it sometimes isn't anything that you can really do because it's caused by not bad hygiene but just the natural oils and sweats from your skin that come out in your everyday life. So being in Australia, I've never been, but from what I know about Australia, it's pretty hot there every day. So you're bound to be sweating or you know perspirating in some way, and that's gonna affect your shirt collars. So there's little that you can do about that outside of scrubbing your neck, um, as he says. Uh, the other thing that you can do would be to try and to avoid the stains setting in the shirt mm -hmm. is once you take them off try and put something on the shirt so in terms of some sort of detergent something that's going to help when you actually put it in the wash to get rid of the stains so as soon as you take it off put something on the collars leave it in the washing basket when you're ready wash it and that should help it for the shirts that are already stained i would say a similar process but you would have to soak it in hot water with some sort of detergent, some sort of stain remover, and then help you really take away from the, um, the, the stain. So 
Um, I'm trying to think of what to recommend. So you've got the things, I don't know what they have in Australia, but here I use something like Oxy. Is it called Oxy? Oxy is a worldwide brand. Worldwide brand, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it's called exactly, but I know what you mean when you say yeah, Oxy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a, yeah. So uh, that's a stain remover, which you can either put on as you put in the wash, or you put on and then soak it, leave it to dry. Something that like that should help you. Um, one thing I'd also potentially recommend, and this is unproven advice, it's the quality of the shirts as well Ooh. that may have an issue. So interesting. Try and go for the pure wool shirts. Okay. Um, the thing is, reason why I say this is, I think I used to have some of these issues previously, mm-hmm. but since having tailored shirts, I can't say any of my shirts hold stains after washing. So I think if you've got something which has maybe um, the man-made fibers um, and aren't necessarily breathable, they're going to hold the stains more. Mm. Whereas Mm. the natural fibers and the higher quality shirts probably will wash off more. Mm. But again, unproven fact, just something that I think I've experienced. Um, So that's what I would try and suggest. I'm not saying go out there and throw away all of your shirts and buy 200 pound shirts but maybe try it with one shirt and see if you notice a difference yeah anything to add I I would agree with with everything you said I mean in terms of I didn't really think about the man made fibres versus natural fibres I mean it, it makes sense it makes sense well I don't, I don't know I actually don't know that's that's a theory but to be fair that's I mean look theory. it's something I struggle with to be fair I've got oily skin I've got oily skin, so even with my my pure wool shirts, I still get stains. Okay. Neck, um, obviously cuff, and obviously those are the parts that are stuck to the skin. You know, what I mean, they're, they're on the skin from day dot. So that like, because I've got oily skin, I can be wearing my shirt for ten minutes. I take it off. The oil that's coming out of my skin is on the shirt. Right now, in terms of washing it, mm-hmm. the reason why sometimes you try to wash it and it doesn't come out is because it's oil. That like, oil doesn't come out. Like when you spill a bit of oil on any part of any fabric, it, it takes a while to come out. So you do need some sort of, um, I don't know, some sort of deterrent. You're right, some sort of stain cleaner, removal. some sort of same re- removal agent to remove it. Now, what do I do, right? Because I, like I said, I struggle with this. I get it worse. I think I get it the most on my cuffs now, but it's not just the oil in my skin. It's also up in the dirt that I pick up on the table. So I, I sometimes put my hands down on things. And when I look at it, I'm like, whoa, that like is literally really bad now the dirt will come off the oil will remain now the thing that I would recommend is going to be similar to what we recommended in um, I think we had a question on stay- we did a stain removal video a while back where we talked okay. about, I talked about things like vinegar and things like this now I tend not to like the chemicals too much so what I tend to do is things like bicarbonate soda I used to mix it with water put it on the shirt leave it there to, to, to chill for a bit then mm-hmm. wash the shirt um, vinegar rub it da, 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 leave it to chill then wash the shirt Things like that. I've heard the theory behind lemon juice being the same. Because yeah. yeah, like yeah. all these things, all these agents, these natural agents like bicarbonate soda, lemon juice, vinegar, they're acidic and apparently they help to break down the oil. So when they break down the oil, That's the main thing. then you can wash it. So um, for me, I don't, oh, I heard, actually I've read another one. I'm getting excited here talking about this. I read another one, right? Um, and it's mixing bicarbonate soda with vinegar. I've never tried it, but I've heard the two. You mix the two, but I usually do the bicarbonate soda with water and da da But, um, yeah, so you mix these things, put it on the shirt, leave it for a few minutes. So, similar to what Senna's saying, you just put it in detergent first, mm-hmm. leave it for a bit, and then you wash it. So, it's the same thing. I'm saying the exact same thing. I'm just saying I've, I've heard some natural methods. Yes, yeah, the natural methods it's would all, be the best because that's what I've heard. they won't break down the shirt mm. materials either. Um, but, essentially... As Josh said, the main thing you need to do is to be able to break down the oils in that are now on the shirt before you wash it because hot water isn't alone going to do it. You need something that will break it down and then when you put it in the wash for the cycle, that it just comes off. This is so, it. Yeah, I, just don't, I personally don't... I've never seen it. I don't, like... Unless I'm being ignorant to this, I don't think there is a way to avoid the stains... Get yeah. onto your shirt if that makes any sense. Especially if you're in a hot country, it's just yeah. There's there's nothing you can do. Summer days, mm. you're always gonna perspire. You're always gonna get oils from your skin. This is it. It's it's gonna happen. So there you have it. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah, stain stain removal from your shirt collars and your cuffs. I hope this helps you. We hope you enjoyed this video. 
take the best bits, throw away the rest, enjoy it, digest it, do what you wait, do what you may. But one thing you should do, definitely, is like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what's going on. Please. Share. And share the video. We'll appreciate it. I'm sure everyone else will appreciate it too. Share it with your friends. I'm sure you know loads of people that wear shirts. So send them this video. Get their opinions. Help them out as well if they haven't got an opinion. And, and as um, always, if you guys have any suggestions that you know work, leave them in the comments. Definitely. Continue to send your questions into us at askandmortimore.com. Continue to interact with us on our several social media streams from Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Till next time. I don't even know why I said it like that. But I'll wait till next time. Cool. Until next time, guys. See ya. Hi right, guys, back in the building, back for another more small moment. Do you like the way I did that dramatic pause in there just to, I don't know, just to build up the tension in the video because this, this is going to be a good one. It always is, but this is going to be a really good one. I, I, I just feel it. I, don't, I can't tell you why. It's not like I know the content. I do know content, but that's not the reason why. Talk about like recording. I, I imagine. I hope it sort of gives you some gives you some ease. I don't know, some sort of, I don't know. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but I hope it gives you some sort of, um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm still saying it. <laughs> yeah. Either way, enjoy this video. <laughs> enjoy it, please. I'm going out of focus now, but look.